right guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a really exciting one. Yeah, I just started my car moved straight away. It's probably not a good thing. Cool. Another video of the dark night. I'm getting a new set of tires on her. I know I had these RS balls put on not long ago, but I'm getting a very cool tire put on today. And I'm pretty excited to show you guys what I'm getting put on. My favorite place to go to for anything, look at this guy, he's like, give it some. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I go to Bob Jane Team Arts at Launton for anything to do with tires um, on this car. They're the only people that I trust. I actually used to take my car to um, another shop. <laughs> he enjoyed it. I, get, I used to take my car to another place and they actually scraped the outside of my rims. They damaged it and they didn't admit to it, didn't mention anything and I didn't notice until I got home. And that sort of, that did it for me straight up. I was like, what? I mean, I don't know, they got to stand behind their name a bit more than that. Started looking for another shop. And then this one got recommended to me by a mate that goes to the track as well. Thought I'd check him out and man, I have not had one issue since. They look after me so well. They even, they go to the extra mile for everything. Not trying to like promote them or anything, but like, they're just my favorite. I, well, I can't go anywhere else. So. Today, these tires that I am um, getting put on have been sent to this shop because they're I, I wouldn't want to go an anywhere else really. So um, they're going to be putting them on for me, and we'll see how they go. I'll be able to see the difference. I know there'll be a bit more road noise because they are an R compound, um, but yeah, I'm pretty keen. If you guys are in Brisbane and you're in like north side area or even south side and want to make the trip, I'd recommend coming up to Launton. It's actually Bob. I think it's Bob Jane T Mart Strathpine. It's the actual um name but it's in Launton so yeah if, if you're getting anything to do with tires go through these guys good price is everything like, I, I can't complain <laughs> Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through. Set them up, get them up the temperature, you're going to have a lot of fun, Yeah, they're an absolutely fantastic tire. The tires that you got, the hand cooks are, are very good as well. But these are that next level. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you really are going to enjoy them. But I've got my customers driving them. They use them as, um, there's a couple of classes that we uh, race at Lakeside Raceway, QR. But even these off the start, they will be impressive. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic product. And it's, um, it's good you're involved in it too, because um, I'm sure you'll be a great ambassador for them. And, um, yeah, they'll work. So I've been around Lakeside people the RS doors, and I, like, I know what they can do. But with these, it's, oh. it's my first, like, you're next going up, time. you're yeah. going up the next level. It's, yeah. As you can see by the tread block design, it's a it's a little bit more rigid. Yeah. Um, you haven't got as many sort of multi-purpose sort of channelings in the tire for you know road. You know this is about a really good track day tire, yeah. but still acceptable yeah. on the road. Yeah. And um, yeah, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah, they're a really really great tire. Yeah. On this, it'll be interesting to see um, what you feel is the the feedback through the tyre compared to what you've had. Yeah, a lot more construction level in the sidewall of the tyre to here to promote the turn into the car. So when you're yeah. coming into the corner, when you turn the car in, the tyre's gonna respond. It's yeah. not gonna be a delayed effect. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the, the construction of the tyre is gonna give you um, the support that you feel and the handling the car and the tread's gonna give you the traction and the and that sort of thing. Yeah. So they, the, the tread compound and the construction of the car just work together to give you the overall benefit. Yeah. A lot of people look at a tread design, but don't look at the tread, look at the tread design, but don't look at the carcass development. Yeah. And that's where people get it wrong. Yeah. Really square on the wheel, mate. Yeah. We'll go 32 on the back. Yeah. Because uh, there's a broad tire, different construction level, and you're not having to, um, 
compensate air pressure to gain performance because yeah. the tyre's already got it built in it. It's, it's already ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's try that and then you can sort of work on some feedback through the car yeah, and yeah. then we can play around a little bit from there. But that'll be a pretty good way to go. Yeah. That's like, that's probably the best slick tyre you're ever going to buy on the, on the planet. Yeah. Now Michelin make a fantastic product. Um, but So you've got that direct wall like that, you've got that really good construction. Yeah. So you're not having to compensate for air pressure, you just run the load, re you know, get a reference to load. I reckon I'll lower it halfway between where the guard sits now to the top of the tyre. You get your camber. Right, and you really run on average on a standard car three quarters. Yeah. So what you do is you sort of move in the middle. Alright guys, so the tires are on the car. Initial impression is you can hear them. There's a bit of noise, road noise, um, but at the same time, they're no they're no everyday driving tire. It's a high performance tire. It's just like buying a high end sports car that's going to be a bit rough on the road. It's you gotta compromise for something good and for performance. That's what performance is. And I can hear them and I'm I, I'm perfectly okay with that. I personally like hearing the tires on the road. It just makes it sound a bit more intense, do you reckon? Yeah. It's sick. <laughs> the sound, I'm gonna admit the sound is pretty cool. Um, but then I've got I've got all the old tires and the, the tires out on the cars in the back there, surprised that they all fit. Yeah, the guys at Bob Jane, they're they're amazing. As, as you guys can see on the camera, they help you out with everything. Um, they look after you and yeah, that's that's why I go to that shop. I got the car realigned as well. Okay, so just driving the just driving the car on the road. One thing I've noticed, um, as Bruce at the shop was explaining, these tires have a they're quite the shoulder of the tire is very squared. Um, so it's I feel more reinforced. The steering response is better. I've noticed that already. Just driving on the street, I couldn't imagine what it'd be like on the track. I'm pretty keen to put them to the test, but I can't. But 1500 kilometers, I gotta kind of not not for the full 1500 but the tires will still be kind of wearing in for the first 1500 k's so um basically it's got the lines wrapped around the tire uh once i see those lines are gone uh probably give it another day or two i'll be able to then i'll be able to get into the tires a bit more it's pretty sick having our compound tires on the car <laughs> It's been a few days now since I've been using the car on the new tyres. All I can say is they're amazing. Would recommend if you like to drive your car aggressive, especially if you track your car. Uh, the grip on these things is just insane. I'm still managing to wear them in. I guess with my driving style, about 200 kilometers till you start to push the tyres. And I finally hit that now. And there has been a few corners that I have really kind of got into it. And you re just realize how much more extreme of an R, a R compound tyre is opposed to just a standard semi-slick. It's ridiculous. And the one thing that I really love and rate about these tyres is how they're very squared and the sidewall it feels very reinforced. When you take corners and stuff, it just feels so much more planted and controllable. Definitely, it changes the car. So far, I am loving these tyres. I cannot wait to test this thing on the track. All right, like I'm so keen, so keen. This is an 80 Treadwear tyre as well, so it's very soft just even as is, just parked on the side of the road. They still feel pretty soft to touch. So my car has an issue right now with the oxygen sensor, so it's not running right, and it doesn't have optimal power. And I, I just have to get that sorted out first before I take her on the track, which is a bit of a downer. But I've also got an, another upgraded part to go in, which should make it a bit better on the track as well uh, with the tuning and stuff. So I'm pretty keen for that. Once I get this car running, guys, I'll be doing a full drive and test review on these tires I'll be filming on the track and um, kind of comparing these to the Hankook RS4 which I previously used to run these tires and the RS4 sit in a similar price range I know these tires probably won't last as long as an RS4 but for all, the, for all of you that do own these cars I'm sure you've bought them to enjoy and I don't think you drive them normally <laughs> I, I, I for sure don't I would highly recommend this tire opposed to other semi slicks I know it is an R compound, it will wear out faster. It's just gonna make the driving experience for you so much more enjoyable. There's still so much more that I wanna do to this thing. It's it's crazy, like, I feel like I've done so much already, but I think eventually will be a race, all that race car, eventually. Once I do the aero and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I will need to get another car once I push it to that sort of extreme. I'm also gonna be doing a video on launch testing opposed to other, t like my previous setup. I kind of talk about how I feel the car launches on this setup, cornering, on the track, general drivability, noise, highway driving, just all that sort of stuff. I'll go over everything 
that you guys might want to know about these tires. If you guys want to know more about these tires, comment below and I'll be happy to answer them in that video detailing why you guys should run a Nankang AI1 on your car. If you guys enjoy watching my content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content related to the 135i Dark Knight build. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.